Shalom, Kahala, Yahu Bashim Yahu Shai, Bashim Rechak Kodash, the ones of the Apostle Great Millstone, and Shalom to brothers and highways and byways, doing the work sincerely and faithfully and continually fighting a good fight of faith in truth and sincerity. Alright, so tonight's lesson is going to be stemming from this, this group, uh, One Body, and this uh, speaker here who was talking a whole bunch of shit, and he has no idea. He has this dude has no clue about these scriptures, man. You want to talk about winging it? This is the this is the perfect example of a wingmaster. He is a pure wingmaster. All right. So there were several things he said in this video that was just so far off, man. You know. But the point I'm gonna I'm gonna deal with. He starts talking about how these camps. Out here aren't teaching our people how to prep. Okay? Now, where in the hell did Yahweh Shai tell us we have to go prep? Beans and cans of water and come. Where, where in the world does that, does that, is that written? You know, just by you prepping, you losing, you, you don't have faith in Yahweh Shai. That they're going to provide for you in the time of that trouble. Okay? So I'm going to play a short little bit of this clip and you brothers you'll see you, it is, this is a this is this video is an excellent video if you want to sharpen up your sword and and, and, and dice dices this cat to pieces man and I'm surprised they even put this damn video up I'm, I'm really surprised he put this video up man you know but let me play it but this is how you know we're in these last days this is the spirit that Yahweh Shai puts on the real prophets to come out here and teach and to warn, read. And bring upon themselves swift destruction. That's what you're seeing, destruction of their mind, man. I hear bugged out. You see a lot of brothers, man, in these schools that you don't see in these schools no more, man. They out smoking weed, getting high. Uh, this is how you know we in the last times, man. But a lot of these schools are not teaching our peoples to prep, man. Very important. You should prep. Prep. Bottle water. Rice, beans. You need some store, some food, man. Don't be a fool like like some of these other people, man. A lot of these camps, man. A lot of our people, they still out there in the world, man. They still going to jazz concerts and stuff. I do nothing. I have separated myself from the world. Okay, so... You heard it, right? You heard it, right? You heard it crystal clear. He's teaching people how to prep, storing up beans and water and, and rice, okay? So let's go into a few scriptures to see if Yahweh Shai wanted his true servants to prep, okay? And, and wait upon... And he Now, once again, in this video, right, he, he was going on about how, you know, certain camps are teaching... Uh, the things that Esau taught him, okay. In particular, he make he makes mention of when Yahweh Shai turned the water into wine. He said that's the teaching of the so-called white man, okay. And I'm trying to figure out because there was no precept, therefore it wasn't true, because you couldn't find a precept to back that up. That means it wasn't true, okay. And he he made that statement as if he truly knew what the hell he was talking about. <sighs> let's just go to the scriptures, man. Alright, so let's concerning concerning prepping. Alright. This is Matthew's chapter six, verse twenty-five. And it says, Therefore I say unto you. Take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat. Okay? We can end it right there. Yahweh Shai said, take no thought for your life, what you shall eat. Now, when you prep, you're taking thought for your life because you're trying to avoid um, some type of future judgment of, of a famine. You're trying to avoid that famine by prepping. Now, Esau, he teaches that prepping shit, man. This dude is a pure hypocrite. He's running around talking about these camps are teaching the ways of Esau. 
or teaching them uh, the, 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 the methods of Esau. And in fact, here you are doing the very same thing. Teaching the ways of Esau. Teaching that people, the Israelites should go out and prep. So reading on, it says, Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body. What shall you put on? Is not the life more than meat, and the body more than raiment? Okay. You see, so now you got to ask yourself, <laughs> <laughs> Why is Yahweh Shai saying Don't take any thought for your life Don't take no thought for your life Alright So from there We're going to go To Luke Chapter 17 Jumping down to 31 It says In that day He which shall be upon the housetop And his stuff in the house Let him not Come down to take it away And he that is in the field Let him likewise not return back So here you got this This clown Telling you to prep 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 And he, he kept As you watch that video He was he was adamantly speaking about No man knows the time No man knows the time Which is true So therefore Why the hell would you want to prep and, and stock up all kinds of food if you outside the house one day and all hell breaks loose when you when you when you're not home, then what you gonna do? What's 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 that prepping gonna be good for? Nothing. Because the scripture says, "He that is out in the field, let him not return home to get his shit." Rough, you know. I speak as a man when I say shit, but you know, he that is on the housetop, let him not come down to go into his house. So once again, man, what in the hell is prepping? Got to do with anything concerning these scriptures and concerning the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Nothing. Okay? Esau is the one that likes to talk about prepping and stockpiling and doing all these wonderful things concerning, you know, survival. Alright? So that's strike two right there. Yeah, you know, you guys ain't teaching uh, our people how to prep. That's very important. And in the way he's speaking, he's speaking with a lot of pride, man. He got a lot of pride in his voice and his countenance. And he does not know a damn thing. Making mention of shit that he knows nothing about, man. Okay. Jumping back down to Luke, the 12th chapter. And I'll start at uh, Luke 12 and 24. It says, Consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap, which neither, ha which, have, which neither have storehouses nor bonds, but the Most High feedeth them. How much more are ye better than the fowls? Okay? So once again, the most high feeds the fowls of the air. They don't have storehouses. They don't have bonds. They don't go toiling. But the Lord makes sure these things eat. Now the question was, how much more better are we than they? Being his servant to the Lord. Doing the right thing. And this goes to show you, this man, he's clearly not a servant of the Lord, man. He's clearly not a man of the Lord. Clearly. Okay? All these scriptures we're bringing out, I'm bringing out, is contrary to what he's saying according to what Esau teaches about prepping. Beans and water and canned goods and all this other nonsense. To do what? Sit in a damn cabinet somewhere and you outside the house that you won't gonna be you're not gonna be able to go back to the home and get it. These times and these days are serious, man. These things and these times are serious. And in the shit that this man's talking, the shit that he's talking concerning what Yahweh Shai, when he turned that water into wine, talking about we, we fools, we don't know what we're talking about. He, he spoke on that as if that the thought of Yahweh Shai turning water into wine was impossible. 
That's how matter of fact this man spoke. Mm, mm, mm. Let me jump down. Let me jump up. Let me jump up in Luke, the 18th chapter, the 12th chapter. I'm going to jump up to um, uh, verse 16. Okay. So we read about the fowls of the air, how they don't buy, they don't sell, they don't plant shit. But the Heavenly Father feeds them. And the Lord said, how much more better are we than they? That if he's feeding them, you damn sure know the Lord's going to help his servants, man. Through the spirit of Yahweh, power of Yahweh, Bosh, Yahweh, Shai. Lord willing. Okay. But this is all just to show you that this man teaching things which he know not, man. I'm talking about prepping. Verse 16 says, and he spake a parable unto them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentiful. And he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do? Because I have no room where to bestow my fruits. Okay? And that's what happens when you decide you're going to prep. You're going to put all kinds of food in a location. And you're going to say, Damn, I don't have any more room to put this stuff. What, now what I got to do? Okay? And it says, 18, verse 18. And he said, this will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater. And there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. Okay? Sound like he's a prepper to me. Sound like this man's a, a prepping type of fellow. Storing up all kinds of goods and fruits. Right? According to this guy, this is what you got to do. Verse 19, and I will say to my soul, soul, thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. Sound familiar? Much goods stored up for many years. So is that this dude was saying, you know, the camps out here aren't teaching the people how to prep. You know, very important that you stock up, you know, Beans and canned goods and water. Now, with that mentality, you're gonna be you're gonna be stocking for years. You're gonna be stockpiling for years. And this is exactly what this scripture is talking about. How a man had so much that he had to tear down and build greater and bigger to stock all the shit that he had. But let's see the outcome of that. Okay. Verse 20. But the Most High said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then who shall those things be which thou hast provided? You see? See, he, don't, he didn't read this. This cat clearly didn't read any of these scriptures. Because if he did, he would tell his audience and his, and his, and his you know, people, Trust in the Lord. Don't worry about stockpiling. Trust in Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai with all thy heart, and he will provide for you. But when you go off on your own, you know, running and chasing after how Esau does it, you fit to you fit for be to be destroyed, man. Okay? So that was the that was the major point in this in this in this uh in this parable. There's no need to be trying to stockpile food, man. If you if you truly and sincerely believe, then the Lord's going to take care of you. So now clearly this nigga don't believe because why? First and foremost, he doesn't believe that Yahweh Shai turned the wine, the water into wine. Now if you listen to the video, he he was really he was really uh hell bent that anybody that taught that was teaching after the ways of the so-called white man. All right. So for this guy to be a, a leader or some type of teacher teaching things which he aren't not, you know, he ain't going to repent because he got too much pride just by the way he's speaking. All right. So with that, this was just a little little uh, a show to to 
to show you and those who listen out there in the world that you being a man of the Lord or you having trust and faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, there's no need for you to go prepping. Okay? There's no need for you to stockpile food. Because the Lord will take all that away from the Lord will take your life, man. He can take your life. Why were you about to put a couple cans of beans and rice on the shelf? So clearly this man has no idea what he's talking about. Okay? Stay away from these kind of people. Alright, so Lord willing, I'll see you brothers in another show. Till then, I say Shalom.